¿Cómo ve usted un poco el comportamiento económico de Colombia en este momento y las oportunidades que tiene de pronto, eh, pues, digamos, frente, para abrirse a nuevos mercados y de pronto ser poten pues, un líder potencial en la región? ¿Cómo ve usted el comportamiento de Colombia en este momento y cómo ve la oportunidad de Colombia para ser un líder en la región? You mean economic? Uh, economic, yeah. 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 Um, well, uh, the situation in Colombia has been very interesting compared to the world average and even the Latin American average because Colombia, the consumer economy in Colombia in fact declined very early uh, for reasons not strictly related to the global economic crisis. It was essentially declined uh, because of, of rising costs of consumer credit. And so in, in 07 and 08 the Colombian consumer economy uh, was struggling and the business here, which has always been very big and healthy, uh, struggled uh, somewhat with it. Uh, that was the, the bad part. The good part is that uh, because of that uh, correction was out of the way early, in fact, Colombia went back into growth uh, for us earlier than for than the rest of Latin America and, um, and certainly earlier than the rest of the world. Um, current performance has been, of course, affected by the recent tax uh, imposition in, uh, earlier this year, but which I don't want to go into further details, but um, that has affected our specific trading. Nevertheless, uh, we are extremely positive on, on the economic outlook uh, for Colombia and for our business. Uh, we, we anticipate the economy here will grow uh, by some couple of percent in real terms uh, in, in 2010. And because this is the biggest of our businesses in Latin America, that of course is extremely uh, important to us. Um, I think that the major point that I would make, the final point I would make, is that the potential for the beer market in this part of the world, the beer industry in this part of the world, is for very strong because per capita consumption is still relatively low by comparison with many other countries in the world and in fact is still lower than it was uh, 15 years ago. So the thing that, that determines the limit to beer growth here is not cultural or, or consumer factors, it is simply affordability and uh, economic growth. So we think that as the economy grows economically, as the economy grows, uh, the beer market will continue to go for many years to come. Okay. Y justamente como usted nos dice que afecta de pronto ese impuesto que está generando un golpe, pese, digamos comparándolo, poniéndolo en balance con el crecimiento que está presentando Colombia, ¿este va a ser un buen año? ¿Cuáles son un poco sus expectativas en el panorama? Las expectativas de este año, tomando en consideración que los taxes van a afectar los volúmenes, ¿cuáles son nuestras expectativas en el volumen y en el volumen? Well, on, on, a, on, a, uh, on our best guess right now, we think that volumes in Colombia will be about flat for this, for this year. We take tax and, and uh, economic implications all together. But uh, I must just emphasize that uh, we have just, only two or three days ago, finished our last financial year, and so our new budget year that we start right now, and that's, that, that's the framework in which we look at things. Uh, that is a two days old. So uh, it's, it's very early. That is our current expectation. Um, but uh, we're, right, uh, we're right at the start. Uh, of, uh, it does depend to some extent on the tax, on the reaction to the tax, the tax situation, of course. Um, and as I said, on the economy as well. So there, are, there are some moving parts. Uh, me gustaría preguntarle, doctor Alejandro McCain, eh, un poco cuál debería ser una consideración que el Foro Económico Mundial, cuál debería ser como, después de todas estas conversaciones y todo, cuál debería ser una de las conversaciones relevantes de este encuentro. Like in advance, what would be a conclusion of this event? What would be some, something that this event should have as a conclusion? This is the World yeah, Economic yeah, Forum. Yeah. Well, I, uh, if, you, if you're looking for, for tangible outcomes, I mean, I, I think that um, a consensus
consensus and, and a, uh, an agreement amongst, amongst the authorities in this part of the world on coordinated action to restore economic growth and on what needs to be done uh, to free up the economies, to liberalize the economies for economic growth. I mean, that is what we as businesses call to. Uh, all of the economies of this region are still uh, to a lesser or greater extent is affected by uh, interventionist policies and by business distortions of one kind or another. And we, we, we think that this part of the, of the world has the potential to perform economically uh, a great deal better than it is now. And, uh, so, you know, I think that any kind of consensus that can help to remove barriers uh, will be enormously helpful to us. And in fact, I mean, I would point to the, to the example in the press conference of the growth expectations for Brazil compared to growth expectations for Brazil. Those are better than what we So, some examples from Brazil, perhaps the East. Una última pregunta. Con el cambio político que viene, sale un líder de la presidencia, todo el cuento. ¿Ustedes cómo, cómo ven la estabilidad económica que está muy vinculada al tema político en la región? ¿Ustedes creen que igual va a seguir teniendo un buen ambiente de negocios? ¿Le van a montar toda Colombia? ¿Y ¿En ese sentido considerarían nuevos negocios? ¿O oh, pues es We will be seeing Colombia as an opportunity to invest more. Well, I mean, what we, what we don't anticipate uh, is an outcome in which the progress made by President Uribe in the last eight years is reversed. Uh, everything that we see points towards a continuation of the policies that have created this progress. So we are hopeful uh, in, in, that, in that regard. Uh, obviously, when there's a change of administration, there are always some changes. Um, so I, I can't say that we expect things to be identical after the, uh, after the elections to how they've been, but uh, the broad direction we expect it to continue.